so if we have to excel data structures if we have to excel the subject of data structure okay this is one of the most if not complicated most in demand subject most in in demand subject for it companies so and data structure is comprised of the concept of two main topics of your advanced c you can call structure plus pointers so if you have a understanding of structure how structure operates and how pointers operates plus you would also know you should also know dma which is a sub part of pointers then you can say that you have done data structures so structure concept we have discussed today i wanted to revisit the pointers concept and then do a dma in dma even if you know the two function malloc and free even if you know malloc is more than sufficient so 99% we will be using malloc 1% will be using free the free still is very easy so no no need to worry about it so worry about how the malloc functions in dma works so let me start with pointers okay any idea what is a pointer yes guys any guesses so pointer points to the yeah pointer is is a variable which points to the address of another variable okay so it does not hold any data it holds the address pointer does not hold data but it stores the address you will not see data in a pointer pointer will always store the address okay so now if i have integer a this is my variable and if i say integer a equals to 10 so how will you break up this so you will say whenever a variable is declared three things are associated with the variable what are the three things what are the three things first the variable name second variable value and third variable address so three things are associated with the variable now if i want to access this 10 if i want to access the value i can do so by two ways i can do it through the variable name i can access the value one way and second way is through the address i can access the value so we have two ways of accessing this value if i want to access it through the variable name directly what i will say is print f i want to print a integer and which integer i want to print okay so this will give you output as 10 this is the first approach okay let me code it in red the second approach which i will code in green is how can we access the variable through the address 
now what we can do is we can make a pointer variable point to this address okay so let me make a pointer let me make a pointer star p and let me make star p point to this address 1000 okay so i have to declare this pointer so what will be the type of the pointer star p type of the pointer is same as the type of the variable it is pointing to so p is pointing to a right p is pointing to address of a so what is type of a the same will be type of p also so p also will be type integer and where is p pointing to which variable so you can say p is pointing to the address of a where is p pointing to address of a, address of a. So this you have declared and initialized in one line. Here also what are you doing? We are declaring plus initializing on the same line, correct? I could have done line number one in if I wanted to do it two lines, I could have done it like this. Integer a declare on the first line, a equal to 10, initialize on the second line. This also could have been done. But to make it the program you no know, take less space, I do it on one line. Similarly, I could have done this also in two lines integer star p and p equals to address of a this also could have been done but then to make it faster we do it on the same line declare plus initialize now how do i access the value 10 with this p so i say printf whatever value i am displaying is an integer so display an integer so this will display the address of a but i want the value of a so i have to give a star so star will display value at the pointer so what will star p display value where p is pointing what is the value where p is pointing so this will also display you take so this is a simple demonstration of how to declare initialize and display the variable with the help of a pointer okay now let's do a same example on a character data type okay let's take a same example okay i'll show you all the screen so that you all can use this existing code as a template so i, I want i want a character variable so i say in character whatever variable name you want to give character ch equals to and i give some character in it let's say i give at the rate character so what happened at this line at this time what has happened in memory a variable has been made by what name ch whose content is at the rate and whose address is let's say 2000 okay now i want a pointer q I want a pointer Q to point to this address 2000. So what do I do? So what will be type of Q? Character uh, Q. And character. it will point to which address of which variable? At, uh, yeah. And CH. CH. Okay. Now if I want to display the content of CH with the help of the variable name. So now I can display this content. This I can display the at the rate using two ways, right? With the variable name, I can display one way, and second way I can display with the help of the pointer also, correct? So now tell me. So now if I want to display with the help of the variable name, the red one, how will we do it? Printf percentage c comma ch, right? Ch. And if I want yes. to do with the pointer, the black part, printf percentage c value at star q. Star q. Star q. You got this? Who yes, is still sir. not comfortable with this? So this was pretty elementary, okay? Now what I want to focus on is if I have a structure, okay, if I have a 
structure let's say i make a structure by the name student and i have these data types here roll number and uh, character name and float percentage okay this is all i have and i close this structure now if i go to void main and i say i want to make object of this structure so what do i do so either i do this or i can just say type def and give a shortcut to this so instead of writing the whole name i can just say whenever you will use struct student call it as stud so i have given a shortcut for this struct student as stud so i make object of stud now stud s1 now how will s1 look like is my question how will s1 look like so if i draw s1 how will s1 look like is my question can anyone draw s1 for me this is how your s1 should look like sir so, roll number name floating roll number name and percentage right percentage yeah so this is your name is s1 and it has three data members roll number name and percentage okay and this is the address of s1 that is 1000 okay now if i want to store some data in this i can say so if i want to access this okay now if i want a pointer let's say star r to point to s1 how will i declare that any guesses yes what will be the type of r the stud stud the type of the pointer is same as the type of the variable it is pointing to so s1 is of type stud similarly your r will also be of type stud okay so i have stud it's a pointer so asterisk and it is pointing to where uh, and address of okay so now my r is pointing to it now i can access this data in how many ways this yellow part i'm talking of this yellow part i can access in how by how many ways uh, by address and by address yeah so i have the first way is using the variable so when i use the with the variable so when i say s1 and with the variable i try to use this s1 so i can use this with the variable also yes sir so here the operator i will use is dot operator which operator i will use dot dot operator okay so if i want to store it over here 10 So will I say that over here? S1 dot roll number equals to 10. Okay. And if I want to put name over here, Alice. So how do we assign name by string copy? By which with which function string copy? Where am I copying the string into S1 dot name? And which string am I copying? Okay, you cannot use equal to to any such an array. We cannot use equal to operator to store in array. Okay, to any such an array. So we cannot use equal to. So I cannot say s1 dot name equal to Alice. This is this will not work in C. this works in java java this is possible in java you can use the equal to operator to initialize the string but in c and c++ you cannot do it so we use the string copy function and here if i want to put 78.5 so how will i do that s1 dot 
परसेंटेज इक्वल्स टू ओके एंड नाउ इफ आई वांट टू रीड दिस डेटा विद द पॉइंटर सो आई कैन रीड द रोल नंबर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पॉइंटर आई कैन रीड द नेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पॉइंटर I can read the percentage with the help of the pointer. So if I am using the pointer to access it, I will use the arrow operator. Which operator? Arrow. So how do you form the arrow? How do you form the arrow by using which two keywords? Which two keystrokes? Minus and. Minus and greater than. Minus. Minus, than. minus sign followed by. Followed by what? So the minus sign followed by the greater than operator. Okay. So if I want to now display ten, if I want to display ten, but I want to display with the all the pointers, how will I display? Tell me. Print tab ten is what type? Integer type. But I want to display with the help of the pointers. How will I do? R, arrow, and arrow, and arrow. 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 Got it? If I wanted to display the same roll number with the help of the variable name, then how would I do? If I want to dis, if I want to display the same With the help of the variable name, then then what? Yes. R S one dot R. S one dot R. Got it? Now, if I want to display the name with the help of the pointer, I will I display the name? Just tell me. Correct. And if I want to display the percentage with the pointer, then R R O P R. And if I want to display the name with the help of the variable name now. Yes. So if I want to display it, how will we do it? Name display with the help of the variable name. And with the this is the percentage then. Got it. Okay. So this is I am declaring the object statically. Memory is being allotted. But now dynamically, if I want to create this object, then okay, I want to create one more student object. Let's say I want to create one more student object. How will I create this? Tell me. I want to make one more object called as S two. Any guesses? How will we create S two? Yes, guys. How will we make S two? Just go and make what student S two. Correct. So this will make a variable S two. We'll have some address to it, and we'll have a roll number, name, and percentage because it is made from the student structure. So whatever is there in the student will be in it. Okay. Now if I want a pointer if i want a pointer let's say pointer s or pointer m to point to this how will i make that hmm stood is pointing to r and s2 correct so And now I want to store over here twenty. How will we do that? 
So if I want to do with the help of the variable name, how will I do? And if I want to store Ben as the name, then? And if I want to store 85.6 as the percentage, then? Correct. And now I want to display this with the help of the variable name as well as help of the pointer. Then first let's display with the help of the variable name. Then correct. Yes, no, maybe. Percentage S. S2 dot name percentage F S2 dot person and if I want to display the same with the help of the pointer then yes yes no maybe Yes, guys, understood. Now, this I am making statically. So, these objects which I have made, these are your static declaration. Now, I want to make a structure variable dynamically. Okay, I want to make a structure variable now, but I want to allot the memory dynamically. That is at runtime. So, for that, what we will use is we will use malloc. What will we use that time? So malloc is used for dynamic memory allocation. Okay. So if you now your colleges will reopen right in the month of June, July, and you will get a message from the college, please pay your second year fees, and this is the amount, let's say 45,000, 500 is the call annual fees. So now you walk up to your dad and you will tell your dad that please make a check of this amount. Okay. So you will tell him two things. The amount the check should be there and the purpose for what you want the check. Right. Yes or no. Right, so if your college is going for a you know, excursion for some college trip and they have asked every student to deposit 2000 rupees. So you will tell your dad. 2000 rupees for what? One yeah. So, how much you want? 2000. And what will you do with it, right? Right. So, these two questions should be ready. Okay. So, let's say if you want to buy the latest iPhone, okay. So, you walk up to your dad and say, Give me 160,000. And I want to buy the iPhone, right? So, how much you want? One lakh. And what will you do with it? That is the second question. Similarly, you got to answer these two questions to malloc also. Same. So, malloc will ask that if you want okay if i want the student object how much memory do i need okay how much memory do i need to store okay considering i guess integer should be two bytes but i guess we'll consider integer also to be of four bytes so four bytes for an integer one character one byte ten character ten bytes and float 4. So, how many bytes do I need to store one student? 18 bytes. So, now I have to tell malloc that please give me 18 bytes. Okay. So, when I am dealing with malloc, no. The first question I have to answer is malloc, please give me how many bytes? So, malloc will tell what will you do with the 18 bytes. 
so second question i have to answer is so first is how much memory do i want to store one one object of the student structure i require 18 bytes correct then with this 18 bytes what will i store what do i need to store I need to store a correct am I audible so first question is malloc how much memory I need and second is what will you store in that allotted memory so I will stay I will store a student object then malloc will dive in the memory so malloc will go in the memory okay whatever 8 GB 16 GB 4 GB memory we have so malloc will dive in that memory and then will look where it gets 18 bytes free memory so after a lot of searching let's say malloc comes up okay this is the location where i am having 18 bytes of free memory which i can allot to you so malloc will then first search okay so at address number 1000 address number 1000 i have 18 bytes free from address number 1000 till address number 1017 okay from address number 1000 till address number 1017 this is the memory I have free so that memory will be allotted for this object okay so this memory will be allotted at runtime dynamically so this memory is allotted now what will be the pointer which will will point to the start of this memory let's say pointer star p so p is the pointer who will point to this memory the start of this memory so on the lhs so where p is pointing what is there where p is pointing what is going to be stored where p is pointing what will we store what have we promised malloc that i will store what so simi so similarly on the lhs when you declare p you will tell p that whatever you are returning there a student will be stored so p will be of what type stored type so like this now i have got a memory whose address is 1000 and there what is being stored what is being stored there uh, student, okay. so now we don't have any name now we don't have any name to this object okay this object does not have any name so I, the only option i have the only option i have to access this is what now dot or arrow we are now adding pointers right structure to a pointer so what option do we have now to access this area pointer, pointer is the only option we have right so now if i want to access roll number what will i say And to the point of pointing over here. So now if I want to store over here 10, what will I say? Hmm? P arrow roll number equals to what? And if I want to store Alice over there, what will I do? Okay. So either you can do this and if in pointer case no directly we can use the arrow in pointer terms you can use the arrow to initialize the variable so i can use over here p arrow name equal to alice so equal to can be used while accessing the string with the help of the pointer and next what i have equals to whatever you want to give 
so here yeah, now I have stored the value okay and if I want to display it then what will I do arrow whole number. number and next S P R O name P R O okay let's try to do this practically now sir okay so now let's do it practically so no need for int main just use void main and before void main make a structure what do you sir. say struct student what do, you, what do we need to put in the student whole number character name of 10 and float percentage ok and as I, we are using malloc so what should we include malloc red is also do and now I want to typecast this. I don't want to write stuck student always. What I do? Type in. Okay. So now what do I do? I tell malloc that please grant me how many bytes? 18 bytes. So malloc will ask what will you store in those 18 bytes? What will I say? So and who will point to it? Okay. Now I want to store 10 in the roll numbers. What I do? And P arrow name equals to. So when we are dealing with pointers, we can use the equal to. And P arrow percentage equals to. And if I want to display them. Percentage S So now if I run this code it should display me these details right what happened integer roll number okay I wrote a I N R what happened okay yeah so this is what is happening you cannot use it to assign equal to so what will I say what will I say string copy okay and for string copy what do I need to uh, include okay so I do a run and I get the output got it any guesses guys here yeah, the output has come so this is how you dynamically create an object and then access it with the help of the pointer this is using accessing a structure with the help of a pointer got it okay now I didn't know now I didn't know this calculation I don't know what is size of integer I don't know I don't know what is size of a character in C I don't know let's say I am a Python developer and I'm new to C programming now I don't know all this the sizes I don't know I know the size in Python but I don't know the size in C. I'm new to C. So what happens is if I don't know the size, then don't I cannot give this exactly 18, correct? So then I will have to say size of student. Okay, so whatever whatever memory is needed for one student, give me that much. Okay. And now if I change it, 11, then and 87.5 the program will still run fast got it yes no maybe 